You love spinning with your Magicraft Suzy wheel, and now you're looking for ways to get even more functionality so you can take advantage of the spectacular quality and ease of use that the folks at Magicraft are famous for. The Skein Winder is a really great tool that makes your Suzy wheel work double time for you. My name is Jennifer Johnson, I'm with Whispering Pines Farm, and my husband and I raise a beautiful flock of soft Shetland sheep. I'm also an authorized Magicraft dealer, and I've made the commitment to maintain inventory of the entire Magicraft product line so that you, the spinner, when you're inspired to create something new, you don't have to wait to get the tools you need to make those creations. There's a link below in the description for both the Skein Winder and the Suzy Wheel. So if you want to get more information, just scroll down. Just scroll down a little bit there and the, the links will be there for you to access. I do want to take a few minutes and just tell you how much I appreciate you stopping by to watch this video. I hope you find the information helpful. You could help me by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below and help me on my goal to 1,000 subscribers by the end of September. So let's get started with the skein winder. In this video, I'm gonna assemble it, and then I'm gonna install it on my Suzy spinning wheel. And then I'm going to skein up a two-ply yarn I just finished plying. So I hope you enjoy this video. The skein winder comes in this box, and with it you get a set of instructions. Comes with these two arms, and one of them has this groove carved in it, and that's where you're gonna make your adjustments to the diameter of your skeiner and your skeiner pegs, four pegs and a handle, and then also the spacer. First thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the flyer, disengage the brake band, remove your bobbin and take the brake band off. You're not gonna use the drive wheel for any purpose, so you can also disengage the drive band if that's something that you like to do. So step one in assembling the skeiner is you need to attach the skeiner pegs. So in each of the arms, there's three threaded inserts. That's what you're gonna thread your skeiner pegs that have the shorter threads into. This one is the handle, so this goes into the little threaded insert. All four of the short threaded pegs are now installed in the skeiner arms. So the skeiner arm that does not have this slider groove carved into it will have two pegs at the extremes. The skeiner arm with that slider will have two pegs on one side. Take the peg that has the longer thread, slide that through the slider groove, then install the washer and the knob. So what that's going to allow you to do is to adjust the diameter of your skeins, the size of your skeins. And you should be able to achieve skeins with a diameter of anywhere from 51 to 58 inches. Okay, so now you've got your pegs installed on the arms. You're gonna take the arms and cross them together. Then you're gonna take your spacer and slide that onto your flyer shaft. And then you're gonna slide the skeiner, the hole of the skeiner, through there also. And then you're gonna thread on the knob. So now what you have, there's your handle, is a very nice, standing skeiner. So we've taken our wheel and turned it into a skeiner. So let's again, making it do double duty for you. All right, so now I'm gonna give it a go. So as I said, I've got my old vintage Lazy Kate from when I originally got my rose about 20 years ago. She is a beauty. So I've got this two ply yarn I made. I'm going to attach it to one of the pegs on my skeiner, just with a slip knot. Put my lazy kate over here. Now if I had a tensioned lazy kate, I could set the tension, but I don't, so I just have to hold it a little bit here. I'm gonna caution you that you do not want to engage the drive band and treadle to make the skeiner work because you'll get it to a speed that it's gonna 
you'll be at risk of damaging your flyer shaft and bending it. So just use the hand peg here, handheld, and just do it manually. And like I said, if you have a tensioned lazy cape, then you don't need to hold it like this. That's it. It's really simple, but it's a super cool idea. And um, yeah, once you're done, you know, you just tie off all the, the edges and you have your beautiful skein.